Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Aries. Today we're doing the horoscope spread. So we'll talk about 12 areas of life. Alrighty, hope you are all doing great, enjoying the beginning of spring. Uh, description of the spread is in the description box so you guys can follow along. But let's say 12 cards, 12 areas of life in a general reading. The intention is this reading is dedicated to Aries for the month of April. 2021 uh, but general guys trying to keep it practical keep you guys with the control uh, nothing is determining anything here these are open thoughts hopefully positive ideas that we can spark around the 12 areas of life so we begin and say house number one area number one is about persona personality how we are presenting and how we may be perceived number two is about your values and resources Number three is about thinking, education, mindset. Number four, home and family life. Number five, romance, offspring, enjoyment of life. Number six is about work life, day-to-day -day services. Number seven is about marriages and partnerships. Number eight is about transformation, shared resources. Number nine is philosophical outlook, spirituality, if you will. Number 10 is about your success, your achievement. Number 11 is about social life, community ties, friendships. And last but not least, number 12 is about your karma. So if we were able to puzzle a note from your um, unconscious mind, what would it be? So we look at the 12 areas of life and sometimes we're able to make connections between the positions. Alrighty, alrighty Aries. So we're beginning with a Two of Pentacles for Aries in the Persona Personality House. Alrighty, so coins, earthy element, the element of building, moving forward. That may be something to represent what's happening right now. Grounded, consideration of um, different approaches, different ways to, uh, shall we say, put attention into life situations. Grounded is what I'm seeing. Grounded, calculating, uh, steady. So, so far, so good. Now, with respect to resources, income, money, we have the Queen of Swords. So we have an analytical thought here. This is an energy that likes to slice and dice subjects, ideas. Now it's about your resources. Uh, it's about your values as well. So an Aries is looking sharp about what they value. Have analyzed, understand priorities in different areas of life. This is also an energy of seeking facts and seeking truth so um, an analytical figure seeking an upgrade okay the sword element and especially the suits if we get into the court cards there's a bit of that hint for authority as well so looking analytical looking sharp looking at putting practical options to things that we do in life quite positive okay to house number three thinking and mindset and we have an ace of swords it's as if to say it's a new outlook and i've glanced already here on your achievement house and i see the hangman so we'll go back and forth but really mindset wise as if there is new revelations new learnings new uh perspective if you will so an ace of the sword that can take us to all the way to the king but the element is that of logic the element is that of rationality the element of that of um, common sense okay sticking with a particular program that you know you guys uh, works for you so far so positive now to house number four about home and family life we have an eight of wands as if to say seeking or working on double stability if you will so the four was stability was inspired stability was inspired routines and now we have that fire element as well saying advancement okay advancement happens sometimes with the element of speed so providing that we have that mindset thinking logical thinking rational improvements around the home okay the household may happen faster we're talking about the actual household itself as for family life there could be the note as well of advancement of certain issues so the element is fire, the element is that of excitement uh, to yourself and to the family situation as well. All right, you guys, next to it, right next to it, we have another eight. So uh, in the area of romance, in the area of 
enjoyment of life as a whole, we have an Eight of Swords. This is also the area that has to do with your own offspring, for those of you who have children. Eights represent the advancement. Now, the advancement just prior to that in the home and family life was around us being excited. Uh, shall we say, a spirit-lifting type energy. Right now, we are considering the advancement being in different areas. So, romantically speaking, we're being factual, if this is something on our mind, and with respect to children, with respect to education, okay? Maybe you are working on something as well to help support them, to help advance them forward. The element of air is there for your offspring as well. So, we say, in what ways can we advance when we have such a logical matter to deal with? Likely in education, likely in social life as well. Finding um, true alternatives for children under current circumstances. All right, you guys. At work, house number six, we have a three of swords. At work, we're busy getting creative, trying to find a path, trying to find new ideas, new ways of, you know what? Raising our income as well, increasing our income. So we had this queen who is being super, super analytical, trying to find opportunities, trying to find ways to maximize on your income. And now at work, it's as if you're trying to come up with a new idea, a new way that you can gain maybe a revenue stream or that you could stabilize a situation. It's a little bit fluid, it's happening, but you seem to have the logical element working for you. With respect to marriages and partnerships, and in house number five, we talked about advancement, there may be that. So here I see the moon, a path also that can be taken into advancement, a path that's in a way a little bit unclear, but the clarity comes because you have those amazing energies on values. So you have that queen of swords. When it comes to um, advancement in the romantic area, you also had the eight of swords. Super logical, super methodical, super calculating, and at the same time, um, honest, truthful. So that matters a lot uh, in terms of your values, clarity and truth. We got that in house number two with the Queen of Swords. Matters a lot. So I don't know what to say about a moon path, okay, that may have some clouds, but related to partnerships. I'm, you know what, inclined to say the energies you have here, if it resonates with you, are good enough to guide you, okay, through that cloudiness. You're going to be able to sort through what's real and what's not. Now, to house number eight, shared resources and transformation, and now you have the queen of coins. Queen of coins, pardon me, the king of coins. I don't know why I'm saying queen. <laughs> Does not look like a queen here. Surely not. But the king of coins. All righty. King of coins, shared resources. With completion of knowledge that you relay to others about your skill sets or about the opportunities that may be available to you, there is that potential for advancement in terms of shared investments and resources. At the same time, you complete certain knowledge as well, and it feeds back into your second house, your own ability to analyze, slice and dice, and find those opportunities to increase and improve your income. All right. Philosophically speaking, spiritually speaking, we have an ace of coins or pentacles in house number nine. So it's interesting. You're learning Aries. Um, you're learning houses. You had an ace of swords in house number three. And this was more about short term learning, um, say maybe up to university. Higher than that, we're looking at house number nine. Philosophically speaking, um, non book related learning, if you will. And then you have the ace of coins. So, new layers of perspectives are being presented to you. Layers of detail, layers of looking at issues, at subjects, at analyzing them. The element of uh, spirituality being a grounding element for you is also a message, if that resonates for you or with you. Okay, and we said earlier, new outlook on the way you achieve your goals. So there's the hangman in the house number 10, which relates to your success, your achievement. Aries, several um, aces here, several advancement thoughts here. Suggest to me, if those cards line up with you as well, that you will find, okay, a brand new way of seeking the achievement, the status that you are looking for. At the same time, the note to you is, when you find that revolutionary, 
way okay like a hangman's viewpoint when you find that revolutionary way hopefully you are also taking care of yourself mentally physically so that you can cope with and deal with the anti-revolutionary thoughts okay so being a leader is always about you willing to take chances okay of uh, offending the status quo if you will so when you have revolutionary ideas make sure you have studied them from where they may get critiqued from where they may get you know what um, picked on in terms of have your checks and balances in place but I see the element of you finding a brand new way a brand new way to achieve uh, a lot of goals from a very different viewpoint a healthy one in my humble view I look at the hangman and I always say it takes physical strength to be in that kind of meditative mode or in that um, upside down creative mode if you will alrighty guys house number 11 and we have the knight of wands so social life networking communication with others friendships you're being asked to do more of that to engage more to take more action okay with respect to improving on social life positive 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 an energy that puts you you know what in the spotlight if you will an energy that keeps you moving an object in motion always stays in motion social life is something that feeds into other areas of life as well and last but not least Aries we have a six of wands here in your uh, karma house if you will house number 12 so the note here is about prioritizing the note here relates to also staying your course when you have new ideas that could advance you forward stay the course provided that those ideas have been okay leaned upon uh, with a shall we say a grounded look a factual look as much as we trust our intuition we need that element of facts to be present and it relates a lot to your ability to gain more in terms of resources yet overall completion of knowledge is something that came up here in shared resources a path when it comes to partnerships potentially uh, you know what marriages or a romantic partnership and this is not a predictive take it with a grain of salt that's the card that came up in that space if it was a three of Pentacles I could have said something different guys so overall finding priorities and remaining inspired is a thought that I see in your house number 12 balanced looking at improvements looking at improving in different areas of life and you have the supportive energies for that and with that being said Aries I hope that you guys liked today's reading would love it if you would comment and subscribe Aries you guys are so amazing and I want you to know we do love you madly bye for now guys